Your monthly generator test includes a battery test. Now you could use either a specific gravity test or a conductance test. All information expressed by Standby Power Solutions, LLC, or its officers is strictly the opinion of Standby Power Solutions, LLC. The specific gravity test is a test of the ratio of the weight of a solution to the weight of an equal volume of water at a specified temperature. Specific gravity is used as an indicator of the state of charge of a cell or battery. State of charge is not an indication of the health of the battery. A standard flooded cell lead acid battery that is commonly used in emergency generators contains a solution of approximately 33% sulfuric acid and 67% water. Sulfuric acid is heavier than water. The battery does not store electricity. It stores energy. It makes electricity through chemical reaction. As the battery discharges, sulfuric acid reacts with the negative plates and the positive plates. This reduces the amount of sulfuric acid in solution, causing the liquid to become lighter. The more the battery is discharged, the lighter the solution. This is what the hydrometer measures. It indicates the actual weight of solution, or specific gravity, and therefore provides an indication of the state of charge. There are many kinds of hydrometer that measure specific gravity in a battery's electrolyte. They are inexpensive and can be acquired online or at an auto parts store. There are commonly two different kinds of lead acid batteries that you're likely to see. The one on the left is a picture of maintenance free batteries where you have no access to the electrolyte and therefore cannot measure specific gravity. The two shots on the right, those are standard batteries. You can remove the cap use your hydrometer to measure specific gravity. You'll notice the one in the middle, the cap has a groove in it. That's designed to perfectly fit a quarter, so you don't need a screwdriver to take the cap out. If your battery is accessible, just remove the caps and draw out a sample of electrolyte. Do this for each cell. Read and record the specific gravity from your instrument scale. Be sure to follow the instructions that came with your hydrometer. The electrolyte is very dangerous. It is 33% sulfuric acid and will burn you and damage your clothes and anything else it encounters. Wear protective gear. Be careful. Keep water at hand. Water will dilute the acid. Read and follow all cautions. Conductance testing. If you have maintenance-free batteries, you may do a conductance test in lieu of a specific gravity test. You will need a conductance tester. These are available online. A conductance test is not an indication of the health of the battery. See the link below. I took this from the internet. I cannot vouch for its accuracy, but it is a place to start. Conductance describes the ability of a battery to conduct current. Various test data have shown that at low frequencies, the conductance of a battery is an indicator of battery state of health, showing a linear correlation to a battery's timed discharge capacity test result. For various reasons, I am not confident a conductance test indicates a lead acid battery's state of health. Only my opinion, Paul Harris, Standby Power Solutions, LLC. I know this is confusing. Neither specific gravity nor conductance testing will indicate the health of the battery. However, one or the other must be conducted monthly according to NFPA 110, 2010 edition, chapter 8.3.7.1. The best way to make sure your starting battery is good is to follow NFPA 110, 2010 edition recommendations in chapter A. 5.6.4.5.1, and I quote, lead acid starting batteries should be replaced every 24 to 30 months. The reason is that no matter how carefully you maintain the batteries, they are destined to fail. 
lead acid batteries begin to decline the instant the factory fills them with electrolyte. Level of charge, voltage, length of time on the supplier's shelf, depth of discharge, temperature, overall age, among other things, can all have a deleterious effect. The best thing to do is follow code recommendations and replace them before 30 months. All information expressed by Standby Power Solutions, LLC, or its officers, is strictly the opinion of Standby Power Solutions, LLC. Standby Power Solutions, LLC, disclaims any liability for any personal injury, property, or other damages of any nature whatsoever, whether special, indirect, consequential, or compensatory, directly or indirectly resulting from the publication, use of, or reliance on this website, or any information derived thereof. Standby Power Solutions, LLC, also makes no guarantee or warranty as to the accuracy or completeness of any information contained herein. Anyone using this website should rely on his or her own independent judgment, or as appropriate, seek the advice of a competent professional in determining the exercise of reasonable care in any given circumstance. All rights reserved do not reproduce without express written permission.